Okay, we're going to make an Alfredo sauce. The Alfredo sauce we're going to make is really, really easy, but I'm going to use a high-speed blender for this. Um, I think you need a high-speed blender for this recipe because it's going to be quite thick and the motor in it's very strong and it'll pull it back down. I actually haven't tried it in a home blender. You could try it. And if you didn't have a high-speed blender, maybe you could just add a little bit more water to a home-speed blender and that probably would make it a little bit more liquidy, but, but it would work. Um, okay, so for this recipe, I have a cup of cashews, which I already have soaking. Um, soaked for two, three, four hours. And a cup of pine nuts. I'm going to use half a lemon, two garlic cloves, half a, half a cup of olive oil, a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a cup of water in this one to make it the right consistency. So first I'm going to drain the cashews. recipe is really straightforward and easy in that everything just gets added to the blender and then, and then it just gets blended together. It's just a matter of having all the right ingredients. And this is already pre-measured, a cup of pine nuts. Half a lemon. These lemons have a lot of seeds. So I'm going to do them in a bowl. I'm going to use the lemon reamer and juice it into a bowl first so I can take out the seeds and they don't get into, into the sauce. lemon is really large, so a half is lots. I'm going to use even a little bit less than half. And then taste it, and you can always add more. When making recipes, it's always better to do a little bit less than a little bit more, because you can always add more to it and taste as you go. There, almost all of it. And Half a cup of olive oil. This is a half cup measuring cup. There we go. It's a very creamy, decadent recipe with all the pine nuts because pine nuts have a very high fat content and there's a lot of olive oil in this one. So it's, it's not one of my favorite personal sauces, but those who like it like it a lot and this is really quite a delicious recipe for it. Um, one half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of salt that I just ground in it, into it, and a quarter teaspoon or less of nutmeg. You want it just, um, just barely, barely, not even noticeable in it. It has a little bit of flavor, but it's so subtle, you almost don't know what it is. Two garlic cloves. Now these really don't need to be chopped at all because the blender is just going to do everything with you. It's going to become so creamy afterwards. So you can just put them in whole. And one cup of water. 
the nuts are going to make it really thick when they when they blend. It's actually, the recipe calls for half a cup to a cup, so I'll start with a half a cup, but good chance I'm going to need most of the cup, because I usually do. So I'm going to put the cap on tightly, and you can just lift off the top to pour in the water. I'm going to put half a cup in to start, because they need the liquid to keep going. And turn it on. See that it stopped blending, so it's too thick. It needs more water. I'm going to add some in. And bring it up again. There's a little bit of a technique to using a high-speed blender, and it's going to be hard to start and stop it to, so it's not allowed to talk for the camera, but. When you're blending, if you bring it up around five or six, or around seven and eight, it kind of forms a, a funnel effect. It gives it just enough pull, but there's only certain places on the dial that do that, and that's what we want for this recipe, is to get, to get at the right spot to create a funnel effect. So, so I'm gonna bring it up until I have it going perfectly. Right now the water's kind of sitting on top because it was so thick, so I'm just gonna use a knife to bring the water down into it. Now I'm going to keep it going till it's done. So hopefully you can hear me over the blender. And if I, if you don't understand, I'll explain it at the end. Not necessarily, not necessarily really to take the top off and use your spatula, but and you have to be really careful not to put it in, obviously, because this thing's really powerful and it will just like tear your spatula apart. But just do it around the edges. I was just wanting to bring the pepper and the oil that was on the side down into it. So, um, so I had a funnel effect going. It's it's a pretty nice creamy consistency right now, and actually is even going to thicken up a little bit. When it sits with the nuts, they just tend to do that. So that's it. I'll pour it in a glass jar right now and I'll save it to pour on my favorite zucchini. Thank you.